managerial accounting. We're pricing products for an external market. And a, one of the methods we can use is called the return on assets method. And it's a cost-based method, but we also consider the cost of the assets that we had to go out and buy or use in order to generate uh, the product or the service. So again, we're going to look at exercise six. And remember, we're pricing how much does it cost to inspect a cow. But first, let's take a look at the formula for return on assets. Return on assets price is going to be equal to the total cost per unit. Now that total cost includes both your production costs and your selling administrative and general costs. So the total cost plus a desired return on assets percentage. This will be given to you. What kind of return do you want? And that return is going to be multiplied by the assets employed. In other words, how much resources did you have to acquire and use in order to go into this business? And we're going to divide the assets employed by the number of units you're going to produce each year. So in exercise six, you'll remember that production costs came to a million dollars for the year and that SAG was $300,000 for the year. And if I divide that by the number of units, which is 250,000 units, you'll find that the cost per cow, or the cost to inspect a cow, is $5.20. So basically 1.3 million divided by 250,000 cows is $5.20 is the cost per cow. To that, we're going to add our desired return on assets. And the, the problem tells me I want to have a 16% return. So I want a 16% return times, well, how much assets did I have to, or resources did I have to employ in order to go into the cow inspection business. And the problem says that we have assets employed of $750,000. Well, if I'm dealing with 250,000 cows a year, that means that the resource that it's going to cost me is about $3 per cow, 750,000 divided by 250,000 is $3 a cow. So the assets employed per cow inspected is $3. Well, if I take 16% times $3 and I add it to the $5.20 cost to inspect a cow, what do I find the ROEA price to be? It's going to be $5.68. Now, you'll recall that under gross margin pricing, it was also $5.68. This is a fluke. Generally speaking, the gross margin or gross profit method of pricing will yield a different price than the return on assets pricing approach. So, which is correct? It just depends on the type of business you're in. If you're in a business that you have to go out and buy a lot of resources or employ a lot of resources, you may favor a cost-based approach that considers the cost of your assets and that you get a return on that investment as well as a return on your cost. So ROA may be the best method for you. Likewise, gross profit or gross margin method may be the best method as well. Now we're going to uh, look at how do we price um, services like your car repair bill. 